हेलो एंड वेलकम टू टेक टू गिजमोज आई एम शौर्य शर्मा एंड टुडे वी हैव विद अस द लेटेस्ट 5G फोन फ्रॉम आईको द आईको न्यू 75G नाउ इट डज हैव द मीडिया टेक डायमेंसिटी 8200 चिपसेट व्हिच राइवल्स सम ऑफ द वेरी बेस्ट फ्रॉम कॉलकॉम इटसेल्फ and talking about the box not gonna lie it feels very significant unlike the latest flagships from apple and samsung but yeah, it is what it is you have to provide some value when it comes to this price range and by the way it will be priced around rupees 30000 at least that's what the rumors say so without wasting much time let's just get to it and see what do we find in the box always the most satisfying part of any unboxing so yeah here's the box and i'll just keep the this here and here's the device itself let's keep it aside for the moment and see what else is there some random barcode stuff and yes you do have a flexible tpu style case in the box as well which is of course always a good touch got to keep your devices protected at all times some usual books and paperwork no one reads this let's just get these out of the way you have a usb type c to type c cable yes You also have a <laughs> This is a rare breed nowadays a 3.5 jack to USB adapter uh, the earlier flagships from 2018 2016 I think they used to have this uh, but now you don't find this anymore bahut zaruri hai bhai it is very important and oh my god the size of this power brick This is a 120 watt fast charger and this feels heavy duty. We'll put this to the test when we do the final review and this is going to charge up your phone in no time at all. This wrapper This is plastic by the way. uh no metal unfortunately but given the price point this phone retails for i guess the specs matter more rather than the build, build itself but yes it does feel very premium in hand and if you handed it to me and said this was glass i wouldn't be able to recognize it in the first glance but yeah it does feel nice and oh hey it has an ir blaster the OGs must recognize the IR blaster the old Redmi phones used to have it and we used to have a lot of fun with these can control projectors ACs TVs you name it IR blaster is a very fun thing to have as for the display you get a 6.78 inch AMOLED display which comes with a refresh rate of 120 hertz and that's really good to see here because um this is touted as a gaming centric phone and it is very good for gaming considering it has the dimensity 8200 chipset so uh, 120 hertz is always appreciated and i don't see any slow down so far i mean it is very smooth right now i forced it to 120 hertz and it is just buttery smooth the animations in the fun touch os also seem very decent I mean I am just coming from the S23 Ultra and uh, I don't I know it might sound strange but the animations are just as good it is very smooth so the Ico new 7 5G comes with fun touch OS based on Android 13 and that's a very good thing because most phones in this range do not offer Android 13 especially the Redmi Note 12 series you do have android 13 confirmed and this unit in particular comes with 12 gigabytes of memory that gets 8 gigabytes of virtual ram as well so in total you have like 20 gigabytes of memory available and that in theory could provide some really good gaming experiences 
and yes this unit does have 256 gigabytes of onboard storage and it comes with dual nano sim slots there's no space for micro sd which is a typical behavior that most brands are exhibiting nowadays but yes uh, so you do get dual sim slots and on the bottom you have a usb type c port flanked by a bottom facing speaker and there is a front facing speaker up top as well so you do get dual speakers and it should ideally make for a very good multimedia consumption experience because the screen itself is very bright clocking in at around 1500 nits and coupled with the frame rate that this phone offers it should offer some really good gaming and multimedia experiences i do not notice much bloatware but yes you do have apps like baiju's pre-installed and you can uninstall those so it shouldn't be a problem i guess and multiple apps in fact spotify included you can uninstall spotify you can uninstall snapchat so yes you can uninstall these apps iq.com we, we can't uninstall so that's an eyesore i am not willing to tolerate but yeah it's minimal bloatware but you can easily uninstall most of the apps so the primary camera setup consists of a 64 megapixel primary sensor that's accompanied by a 2 megapixel macro lens and that is also accompanied by what iq is calling a bokeh sensor i don't know what that means but it exists and Here's how it performs. So the camera setup and the app uh, is pretty simple. Let's just try clicking a picture over here and uh, let's just start to focus. And right off the bat, I can notice the background getting very like bokeh, bokehlicious is the right term I should say. So yes, it is very bokehlicious. Uh, the details are very nice right off the bat let's just try clicking something else uh, let's just click the s23 ultra the camera champ and you have a like a digital 2x toggle over here so you can use that and also uh, the focusing is very nice the focusing is nice it loses but it latches on to focus quickly and you do also have 4k video 4K 30, 1080, 60, yes, and we'll be shooting 4K 60 right now. So it is quick to focus and the focus transition is also rather smooth, I guess. So on the front, we have a 16 megapixel selfie shooter and let's just click a picture and see how it comes out. So I clicked it, this in the portrait mode and the detail is okay uh, but it does feel a little over sharpened especially my receding hairline uh, let's just try to take a normal photo i guess so this isn't in the portrait mode and yes this does seem better i don't know what but it slightly over sharpened in the portrait mode from what i can notice yes definitely in fact the color the skin tone is also better in the normal shooting mode so this has been a very quick unboxing of the iQ Neo 7 5G. On paper, this phone does seem very promising and it has some serious competition from the Redmi Note series. But yeah, the camera does seem promising and it is fast. The screen is also nice. We'll be putting it through rigorous testing on News 18 Tech. And for the full review, do stay tuned. I'm Shaurya Sharma. And I'll catch you in the next one. Bye-bye for now.